Weird Pokemon Facts In Ruby and Sapphire, Secret Power is very unique, with the ability to create different effects depending on the terrain, from putting opponents to sleep in caves, to causing confusion in buildings. Spinder is known for its astronomical number of potential spot patterns. Due to its mechanic of having random spot placements, there are over 4 billion possibilities. According to the Pokedex, Melton's body is mostly composed of liquid metal, and it thrives on feeding on electrical currents. So, we could get an electric type regional evolution of Melmetal in the future. While we all know Pikachu can evolve into Raichu with a Thunderstone, in Pokemon Yellow it stopped you. However, if you traded to a different generation and evolved it there, you could transfer it back, gaining a partner Raichu. With the game's increasing popularity in the 90s, they made the Pokemon Print allowing players to print out stickers of their captured Pokemon. However, it never gained much popularity, and as a result, many Pokemon fans today are unaware of its existence. Bronzor actually has a great meaning behind its creation, being inspired by Chinese and Japanese bronze mirrors that were believed to have supernatural powers and were often adorned with intricate patterns. In Ruby, Sapphire and Emerald, if you use the boat between Slateport and Lily Cove, you can actually watch outside the window. And yes, this is the actual cutscene that plays out when you do this. In Red and Blue, you couldn't find Farfetch'd in the wild. Instead, you had to trade with a specific NPC, meaning it might not be a Gen 1 Pokemon, and was originally from Johto, until you can find it in Pokemon Yellow. On the outskirts of Johto, on Route 12, Muna draws inspiration from the Japanese dream-eating creature called the Baku. Muna's connection to its ability to eat bad dreams aligns perfectly with the folklore, making you question what other Pokemon might be inspired by myths. In the Battle Mansion, there's a notorious trainer named Jester Nye, who uses a team of six Smeagles with unpredictable movesets thanks to the move Sketch. Coughing and Wheezing were originally named Nye and La respectively, referencing New York City and Los Angeles, two of the largest cities that are associated with heavy pollution. In a Nintendo Dream Magazine interview with Ken Sugimori, the director revealed that Hydragon and its pre-evolutions were originally going to be tank-like cyborgs. Although it retained the tank-like tread markings on the bottom of its belly, the idea was mostly scrapped, until Scarlet and Violet I suppose. Delmise carries an anchor and a ship's wheel, and while you might think it's the ghost controlling these ailments, it's said that it's the soul of the seaweed that latches onto the ship's wreckage. Meaning, it's not the ghost possessing the metal, but the seaweed that then controls the anchor, making its grass typing make a lot more sense. In Generation 2, there was an item specifically made for Mewtwo called the Berserk Gene, that it could be given to as a held item, and when sent into battle could cause the effect of Swagger to be inflicted on Mewtwo giving it a plus two to attack and confusing them at the same time. It's always weird when a Pokemon looks like a type, but turns out to be different, especially with Grappolox and Crabrawler. So why? Why not give them the water typing? The Grievard line is a contradiction. It's said in their Pokedex entries that Grievard was a wild dog Pokemon who passed away without having any human interaction and was reborn as Grievard. Meanwhile, Houndstone was a pet Pokemon who was mourned by its owners before being reborn as a Houndstone. Infernape is based on the famous Chinese legend of Sun Wukong. Given that Infernape is a monkey with gold embellishments, it's clear that its design is heavily inspired. Even Infernape's Japanese name, Gokasaru, is similar to Sun Wukong in Japanese. The Pokemon card game was first produced in 1998, and has become so popular to the point where they have produced over 30 billion Pokemon cards, even the ones you ripped as a kid. Early Pokemon games were very confusing thanks to the physical special split, so when Shadow Ball was made physical in Gens 2 and 3, it kept its ability to lower special defense making it the only attack to lower the opposite defense stat. Lance is the only champion to use multiple of the same Pokemon in his team, but because his repeats are Dragonites, it also makes his team the highest base stat total of all NPCs. In Sun and Moon, you cannot catch the Tapus or Beldum with a Heavy Ball because they're as light as a feather. Dragon and Fairy and Ice and Fire are the only type combos that exist but never outside of battle, thanks to Mega Altaria and Galarian Darmanitan. 
While Pokemon Platinum was still in development, a new female staff member was given the task of creating a dinosaur-like Pokemon that turned out to be Haxorus. At first, Ken Sugimori wasn't into it. He said, She came up with the idea that Haxorus attacks by swinging its axe like fangs instead of using its mouth to bite. At first, I thought it wasn't too Pokemon-like, since it was designed by a newbie. However, I later decided that might actually be what makes the Pokemon so cool. Which just goes to show that nothing can be too much or too little Pokemon-like. Pal world. Lugia had a scrapped sprite that looked like this. It had the features of a Lapras and a Ho-Oh, and sort of looked like a Viking longboat with the three fins acting as oars. Charizard has become so popular from multiple Megas, Early Access Dynamax forms, and now has a bee named after it. Found by a Canadian scientist in Chile, who named it the Chili Cola Charizard. The swarm ability has a feature outside of battle. In Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire and Emerald, it increases the frequency of cries heard from wild Pokemon that are heard in the overworld. With the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon's box art, if you put them side by side, it shows Ultra Necrozma's light form, if you ignore the 3DS logo in between them. A Japanese Arceus promo from 2009 features a structure resembling the Temple of Sinnoh in Legends Arceus. Now this is probably just a coincidence, but if the Legends Arceus team did use this, then props to them for finding and using this in the game. Pokemon Legends Arceus has a lot of changes to other Pokemon games. For example, you had to physically go into your party and tell the Pokemon to evolve, because a Pokemon could reach their evolution level by catching Pokemon outside of battle. The move Faint Attack spelling was changed from the original in Pokemon Gold and Silver, before being spelled with an A like this. The reason probably being that children would think that the move meant it could faint a Pokemon in one shot. In the post-game of Pokemon Black and White, due to the White Forest being a Pokemon White exclusive, means that Pokemon Black had less exclusive Pokemon, only having 17 compared to Pokemon White's 33. We previously talked about being able to cut grass in some Pokemon games, however, in Emerald on Faraway Island, where you can encounter Mew, if you cut all of the grass, the message, the feeling of being watched disappears meaning you can no longer have the opportunity to catch Mew. I'm surprised the developers would think of this possibility. In Heart Gold and Soul Silver, if you knock out Suicune, it reappears in Burning Tower after defeating the Elite Four, giving you a second chance to catch the Pokemon, just like the legendary dogs did when they were resurrected. In Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, Cyrus's entire team is in Master Balls, meaning Giovanni must have paid good money for them to get together. The Moon Ball is known to help catch Pokemon that evolve using a Moonstone, which in Gen 2 was a total of 4 Pokemon, being Nidorina, Nidorino, Jigglypuff and Clefairy. But in those games, the Moon Ball was mistakenly boosted when used on a Pokemon that evolved using a Burn Heal. In Pokemon Black and White, TM numbers were changed from the original to add more into the game, but because of this, Levani and BHM could learn Steel Wing due to the previous move being Ally Switch, and the developers just forgetting to change this. Hitmonchan can't learn Sucker Punch, but their counterparts Hitmonlee and Hitmontop can, which is not only confusing, but unfortunate for the iconic Elemental Punch user. Pokemon Gold and Silver are the only games to have different sets of sprites in each one, as seen here, with Blastoise being on all fours versus the other holding out its hand and in this example of Kabutops, showing off its scythes versus the other looking head on. You'd think that the first sighting of Pokemon in the US would be the first gen of Pokemon, or even the Pokemon anime, but no. The first Pokemon appearance in the US was actually through digital stickers of the game sprites in the Game Boy camera software. Battle music has usually been the same no matter which Pokemon you faced, at least until Gen 3, in the battle against Deoxys, meaning Deoxys holds the title for the first Pokemon to get its own battle music in the games. As we all know, in the traditional Pokemon games you weren't allowed to have multiple save files. This is because of the nicknaming system, forcing the cartridges to take up more space, but ultimately, this probably helped sell the games, needing to buy a whole new cartridge if you wanted to restart the game. In a Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, 
if the Whelmer you're riding on while using Surf evolves after a battle, your game will freeze, as the game sees that you no longer have a Whelmer to ride on. In Gen 2, the effects of the Dragon Fang were accidentally given to the Dragon Scale, not only making the Dragon Fang completely useless, but the Dragon Scale both a type enhancement item and an evolution item, just like the Metal Coat in later generations. In Gen 4, if you evolve your starter before reaching Bruin's lab in the beginning of the game, he will comment on that fact. However, in Gen 1, if your starter evolves before giving Oak's parcel, he will refuse to give you the Pokedex, effectively softlocking your game. In Scarlet and Violet, if you view a Pokemon summary screen while it's typeless, the game will crash. This is achieved by skill swapping Protean on Pormor and then using Double Shock, removing their electric type. There are so many opportunities to keep Pokemon original. For example, there are no middle stage Pokemon to be pure dark or pure ground type. In addition to this, no Pokemon gains the normal or bug typing when the Pokemon evolves. The so-called random damage in Pokemon's damage calculations changed from the first two generations, originally being a uniformly distributed integer between 217 and 255, versus the later generations using a formally distributed integer between 85 and 100. In the Pokemon anime, Pikachu won a total of 21 battles throughout the first season, but in the entirety of Johto, which spanned three seasons, Pikachu produce the same results. Shinies are primarily cosmetic in Pokemon. However, Diplin and Hydrapple transcend this by having the color of their signature move, like Syrup Bomb, change color based on if the Pokemon is shiny or not. Or it's just me being colorblind. Wubbuffet, the literal punching bag of Pokemon has been lying to you this whole time. Growing up watching the anime, you would always see its signature salute. Well, this is not his body, this is. You can even see the eye making sure that its quote body moves properly. Also explaining its psychic type using telekinesis to move around its double. Discovering, 